In today's episode, we are going to learn how to edit the sunset or sunrise photos or sunset photo manipulation in Photoshop. Coming up. Hey, what's up? This is Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In today's episode, we are going to edit this sunset or sunrise photo and we are going to create something like this. This video is in English and if you want to learn this entire tutorial in Hindi, in the description you will find a link to the Hindi tutorial. So this is going to be a very fun episode because you are going to learn a lots of new technique in this particular episode we are going to create a the realistic photo composition in Photoshop and before we go any further please do subscribe to this channel if you want to take your Photoshop or photography skills to the next level and to subscribe just click the big red button below this video and don't forget to click the bell icon as well that way you will not miss any new video from this channel so let's get started so this is the background image which we are going to take let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl j select the lasso tool make a selection around it a rough selection and then go to the edit select fill select content aware press ok and it is going to fill it up based on the content and there is lots of problem so we are going to fix it create a blank layer choose the stamp tool and make sure the opacity is 30 percent make the size bigger press all to take a sample from an area and then paint it you can see the live preview so that you can properly paste it and using this technique just paint everywhere fix all these problems so that it doesn't look artificial and then create a stamp copy Control alt shift e and then save the document now bring in the pigeon I have already extracted it from the background click and drag and drop it over here and right click select convert to smart object press ctrl T to transform and make it something like this adjust its position where you want to place it maybe something like here you can increase or decrease the size based on your liking and let's rename it Pison so that we can identify it create a new mask over it choose the brush tool and make sure the soft as brush is selected and opacity let's say around 20 percent or 30 percent and make sure black color is selected and start painting on the hard edge so that it just get removed increase the opacity to 50 percent and painting and paint on this area and you can see now this one is properly done and it appears that it's actually there and it's submerged into the water now create a curves adjustment make sure it clips to the this layer and drag it down and press ctrl i to invert it choose brush tool with the black color or white color and make the opacity around 20 percent and start painting on this area because light is coming from the right side so this area has to be darker so make this area darker by painting here create another curves adjustment this time increase its highlights and clip to the bottom layer that is the pigeon control i to invert it and brush tool again with the white color start painting on these edges so that this area gets little lighter that's how we can paint the light and the shadow or the highlights or shadow that's very easy and simple way now let's create one 
color balance adjustment clip it to the pigeon layer and using the sliders match it with the background color so you can adjust the cyan magenta or yellow and we can even target the shadows and the highlights so we have three options over here so you can adjust them to match it with the background Now create a brightness and contrast, clip it to the brick and bring down the brightness, increase the contrast and it is also clipped to the piezo layer and come over here, select this layer, this piezo layer and on this corner there is a problem so we will select the black color again with the softest brush we will paint on this corner so that it gets removed so you can zoom in and zoom out to see where you want to work on select this layer then go to the filter choose blur gallery and choose tilt shift so we are going to blur this out a little bit so basically we are going to blur the sky and drag this down this one also this point until over here and you can adjust this as well and you can choose the amount of the blur you want and then after press ok and it's going to blur out the sky you can see by running it on and off now it looks real now we have more realistic view create a new black layer change this layer blend mode to color doge or linear doge choose the brush tool soft as brush and we'll take the orange color from the swatches increase the size of the brush and paint on the side change this layer blend mode to let's say hard light how it looks now we have Call this warm light create another layer this time choose the yellow color paint little bit over here let's try to change this layer blend mode which one looks good Select the top layer and create a new curves adjustment. Drag it down from the middle point and choose the brush tool with the black color and paint on this area so that only this area gets the light and rest of it becomes darker. And we are painting with 20% opacity. That's how we are bringing in the focus to the main subject, which is Pizen over here. Now create another color balance adjustment and adjust the sliders to get the look you want. For the entire image, we have not clipped it to the piezo layer. This is applying to the entire image or entire composition. Now create another curves adjustment. Bring up the highlights and control I sorry does double click on this blank area and in on this underlying air area uh, underlying layer press alt and drag it on this side press ok lower down its 
opacity and that way it is going to affect only the highlights. You can just double click it and adjust it once again. How much light you want. So we can even drag this slider. And lower down the opacity if you think it has over brightened it. You can see the difference by turning it on and off. Create another blank layer. And rename it as Dose. Choose the softest brush with the black color, opacity let's say 10% and we are going to paint in the shadows of this rock. And you can see it by turning it on and off. Create another layer. And fill it with the 50% gray. And change blend mode to overlay. Choose the dose tool. And opacity 10%. And zoom in. And paint on these highlights. On the water. And wherever you see the highlights so that we get the extra depth and detail in that area. Now come down over here on the Pizan area. Select this one and we are going to make it little less darker and we are going to bring down the highlights and let's make it little bit more darker by dragging this point Select the layer mask and choose the brush tool and paint on the side with the black color. Oops. We need to select the brush tool and opacity 10% and that way it is going to remove it from the certain part because that was too dark in my opinion and paint on this area as well on the peasants. Come to the top, select the Dose and Burn layer and you can see the difference. Now select the Selective Colors Adjustment layer and adjust all these colors. So we are basically first adjusting the red color. So we have all these sliders so we can adjust them to get the look we want. And then we can select the yellow color. So we have the option to select all the colors. So if your color is present in a particular color is present in your image, you can adjust that. And then let's select the black one. And let me adjust the cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Because this is this color is based on or is created with these colors. CMYK and neutral. You can adjust that as well. Basically, this is how we can color grade our image very easily. Now create a stamp copy by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E and change its layer blend mode to vivid light or linear light and then go to the filter other and select the high pass choose the radius of one press OK and you can zoom in to see that it has made it overly sharp so you can create a mask choose the black color with brush tool and you can paint over the area where you don't want that much of sharpness or you can even lower down the opacity to lower down the sharpness and this is the final result we have achieved let me place my watermark over here or my logo and we have started from this image you can see right now and we have turned it into something like this so thank you so much 
this was the sunset sunrise photo manipulation in photoshop i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did please do let me know in the comment section below if you like today's episode hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below and if you want 439 dollar premium courses absolutely free just go to my website harshwardhanart.com and just sign up to my newsletter and i have one more hindi channel as well which is called the skills hacks and from where you can learn lots of internet money making skills and there is a link of that as well in the description section below so do check that out and do subscribe to that channel as well so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you